Hey guys, Satan, welcome back to my channel. So today we are making homemade cheese. Yes, you heard that right. We are taking some whole milk, boiling it and turning it into delicious paneer cheese. Paneer cheese is a classic Indian cheese. It is a non-aged and non-melting cheese that is curdled by adding some type of acid, in this case we're using lemon juice, into some boiling milk. And then it's literally like magic and science. It turns just into cheese right in front of your eyes. It is absolutely insane. The first time I did it, my mind was absolutely blown and yours is going to be as well when you're watching this. It takes no time at all and it's so easy to do. So right up here on my stovetop, I've been boiling a gallon of whole milk. And what's very important to do while you are boiling this is to constantly stir it to make sure that it doesn't burn on the bottom. And you wanna keep an eye on this. You do not wanna leave the room when you're doing this because if you leave it too long, your milk will overboil and make a huge mess. Happens to be in like Indian kitchens, Indian kitchens, um, I forget which culture, what part of India, they actually do overboil milk as a way to like bless their new kitchen. But we don't wanna bless our kitchen, we just wanna keep our kitchen uh, nice and clean. So keep an eye on it. And then once it comes to a complete boil where it's almost like about to overflow, we're gonna add in an acid. So you can use any type of vinegar or lemon juice. I like to use lemon juice just because I think it gives it a little bit of a better flavor. So I squeeze some freshly squeezed lemon juice over here. But a lot of times if I don't have lemons in the house, I'll just use vinegar, that is totally fine. Okay, so our milk has now come to a boil and now is the time where we're going to add in our lemon juice. And I always get a little nervous before this happens to make sure that this is gonna work, but I think we're gonna do well. All right, ready? So now let's add in and watch this. It literally next few seconds, it'll turn into cheese. Right, we're gonna add this in. No, let's just go all in and mix this together. Oh my God, there you go. Look at that. That quick, it is just turned into cheese. Let's just keep mixing around for about a minute to make sure that all of the milk gets turned into cheese. Oh my God, this is actually insane. Okay, every single time I do this, I've literally done this like probably dozens if not hundreds of times. It gets me equally as excited. Okay, look how fast that was. Our milk just turned into this luscious curds over here. Okay, I know I'm getting very excited about this, but it's actually like magic. I don't, I, I understand all the science behind it and I still feel like it's magic every single time I do it because you just turn the, the milk into cheese that quickly. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling about that. You guys get how cool this is. I mean, just look at that. Okay, so now over here, I am now going to use this to separate the whey from the curd. So over here I have a large bowl and onto that I have a colander placed in here. And then to actually separate it, you can use either cheesecloth or what I love to use because it's reusable is a nice thin linen cloth that works as well. And now let's just start separating out the curd from the whey. All right, so I've now gotten all of the curd separated from the whey, and what you just wanna do is take the ends of your cloth or cheesecloth, whatever you're using, and you're gonna let it hang a little bit and squeeze out all of the whey, because you do not want the whey in there. So one little thing you could just do, because it is kind of hot, so you wanna be careful, is if you kind of turn it like this and squeeze, and you hear all that whey dripping down, Want to get you want to get rid of as much as you possibly can. Look at that over here. We now have that cheese all the way has been squeezed out and it is now nice and steamy. Now to actually form this into our cheese, what we're gonna do over here, I have two plates over here and I'm going to place our cheese onto the plate and you want to kind of form it into a nice disc. Push this excess piece of cloth to the side and then use another plate over here. Place it on top. And now what you wanna do is you're going to wanna place this in your fridge. And you're gonna put this in the fridge. You can put some heavy cans over it. You can put another gallon of milk if you have over it. Anything kinda heavy to push it down. Get rid of the excess weight and you wanna form it into a nice firm cheese. Then once that's done, I'll take it out, show you guys the final cheese and then we can actually eat some of it. All right, I'll see you guys when this is done firming up. Okay, so our paneer cheese has finished setting and now it is time to cut it up into some cubes. 
So let's just unwrap this. And you could press it for as long as you like if you want to make it firmer, but I kind of like when it's a little bit loose. So now let's put the plate back on here, flip it upside down, and here we go. Let's peel this off. And there you go. You have a nice chunk of cheese over here. And then the way paneer is typically served is cut into cubes. So I'm just gonna cut off a little section over here, put it onto the cutting board. Okay. And let's just cut it into a bunch of little half inch to an inch cubes. And look at that. So right over here, you have that nice cube of cheese, as you can see. It's nice and firm, but also soft at the same time. In this video, I'm just showing you guys how to make the paneer. I'm not actually cooking with it, but I will definitely be cooking with it in a future video. But for now on, now that you've learned how to make this paneer, go on to Google, search up any of these recipes I'll tell you about. They're super great. You can make paneer makhni, you can make mutter paneer, you can make tons of delicious things. Anything that you can find online a recipe with paneer, it'll be absolutely delicious. It gives like a nice, super soft and just like fatty note to any dish. It is so delicious. It is even great just fried up uh, in a little bit of oil with some spices. And that is how good it is. I'm actually gonna eat a little bit plain just so you guys can see. It's really nice and crumbly. All right, let's just give it a little try. Um, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of salt, just so it has a little more flavor. All right. There we go. Really nice and just kind of nice fatty tone. A lot of Indian dishes are very spicy, so this gives it like a nice, really just like soft and cooling tone to a dish. One thing really cool about paneer cheese is it does not melt. And you literally just fry it up and then add it to your dish. It won't get nice, it won't get gooey or anything. It'll stay nice and firm and really just make your dishes so delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed watching how to make your own homemade paneer cheese. If you want the recipe, as always, a link to it is in the description box below. And if you haven't already, be sure to click that big red subscribe button down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed watching the video and comment down below. Have you ever made cheese before? If not, you're, are you gonna go make it? Cause you probably should. And yeah, all right, I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of this paneer. Thanks for watching. Bye.